We will first track this footage in After Effects in such a way that uh, we could use uh, the tracking data in 3D software like uh, 3ds Max. Because we have to create some 3D elements in 3ds Max uh, like uh, smoke trails, chunks and particle flow. So we have to track this footage both in 2D and uh, 3D form. For 2D tracking, uh, we'll use the default tracking option inside After Effects and uh, for 3D tracking, we won't use any uh, fancy 3D tracking software. For 3D camera tracking, we'll use a free script for After Effects, which uh, would let us uh, create a camera inside uh, After Effects, so that we could use that later in 3ds Max also. So, first of all, uh, we will track this footage. So, go to Tracker. If you don't find it here, uh, you can go to Windows and uh, enable tracker from here. So first select the footage, click on motion source and uh, choose the boat footage and now click on track motion. It creates a tracking point. So pick this and uh, put it here. This is the contrast point. And now simply analyze this whether this track point goes with the footage or not. I think it's uh, going quite well. Now, once done, go to Layer, New, and create a Null Object. Click on Edit Target and choose the Null Object as the Motion Tracking Data Receiver Layer. Okay. And now click on apply. Now you can see that the null is going with the boat. We will use this null for parenting purpose. So for now, duplicate this null object and uh, rename it as uh, tracking data. And uh, shut it off for now. Now we will create a camera in the scene. So, go to Layer, New, and Camera. Since this is a long shot, so we can assume a 50mm camera. So, 50mm camera is fine here. Okay. Now, it says that camera works on 3D layer. So, convert this null in 3D. Now, we will link the camera to the null in such a way that the data of null's position would be the camera's position because right now if you see in two views uh, the camera is still and null is moving but we want a moving camera so for that first we'll have to uh, copy the position data of the null press ctrl c or go to edit and uh, click on copy and then select the anchor point go to edit and paste now delete the position's uh, keyframes. Now what we'll do is to pick the whip of the camera and uh, drag it to uh, null 1. Now it makes the null stable. It looks like the null is stable, but actually uh, the camera is uh, following the null. So we have a moving camera now. Now we'll export this camera and uh, the null into 3ds Max. But before we do it, will use a free script for this operation. Type A3D in Google and click on the first link. You will find here a free to use a script which exports camera and layers from After Effects to Maya, 3ds Max and Lightwave. So you can download the script from here. Go down and uh, you will find the updated version of the script so you can download it uh, from here I downloaded the script and then uh, I went to the installation folder of After Effects and here in the scripts folder I pasted this script that's all now back in After Effects and then go to file scripts and you will find A3D export Click on it. This opens a separate window of A3D export script. 
since I'll use 3ds Max so I choose 3ds Max then uh, go to option and uh, here you will find some scaling option so I put it as uh, 1 is to 100 or um, 1 is to 10 that's fine I would save it as uh, untitled dot MS and then click on export a message appears and it says to select the layer first okay uh, since I have to export camera and uh, null so I'll select both of them and then I'll click on export so my this script has been saved uh, on my desktop now it's time to go to 3ds max in 3ds max simply go to max script and run this script choose the untitled dot ms and uh, okay now press C and you can see through the camera view now click alt plus B and uh, select match bitmap with all these three options and um, call the boat image sequence now you can clearly see the null is going with the footage actually camera is moving null becomes dummy in 3ds max everything looks perfect except a problem and the problem is the camera looking downwards I don't know why this is happening maybe the coordinating system is not configured correctly in the free script maybe but we can fix this problem um, so being at zero frame uh, make a dummy here and then select both the camera and the null object and then link them with the dummy now select the dummy and rotate it in a 90 degree so that the z-axis would be vertically up it won't change anything else except you will get the correct coordinate system now let's check uh, whether we have got the correct camera or not let's make uh, something in the viewport a teapot and uh, put it here on top of the boat and now when you'll play the animation you'll see the teapot is on the top of the board perfectly so this is how we have uh, an animated uh, and dragged camera in 3ds max now we'll use this camera in the time of rendering so in the next video we will see how to make chunks in 3ds max